Ladies and gentlemen, my dick is soft. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Atwood Bar Podcast. My name is Benjamin Afizovic, and I am joined today by the one and only Christopher Gianetti. Hi. Salvador Flores. Yo. Islam Duane. What happens? And Irvin Carrillo. Oh. Boys. Yes. How do y'all feel about drugs? You guys like them? What kind of drugs? I don't think I've ever done a drug. I'll be honest with you guys. You never took shot. You never. You never. You never oh, smoked. I mean, I've never. I mean, I smoked once and I didn't like it, and I've never done it ever since. Okay, I, but I, so you can't say you never did it. You've well, done it I once. took. I took a puff. It just wasn't. Well, that doesn't. Still, hold, dude, that doesn't it. hold up in court. Why are you lying? Yeah. No. I okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Well, the reason I ask is because I'm curious. Do you guys think that we should? Like deal with our drug problem by legalizing all drugs. Like, is that a, is that a logical solution to this? all drugs? Because Oregon, Oregon, everything's legal now. Every yeah. kind of drug. Well, it's decriminalized, right? It's I don't, I don't you know. Think, it's, yeah. it's, it's Doesn't mean you can go out and I mean, sell heroin, but if they catch you with heroin, it's they not. can't do anything. No, up to a they certain will. amount, right? Yeah. Not like, oh yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like, like, oh, he's just an addict. He's got like ten kilos of fucking cocaine. Oh, he's just an addict. He's got twenty kilos in his back of his car. Like right now, we're seeing a big push for everybody trying to or just. Cities it's themselves, not act, not like not states until Oregon as of recently, but even our cities out here, like Boston. some yeah, Boston, Somerville, Somerville like um, legalized mushroom yeah mushroom use. Who? Did they? Somerville. Some there's... really Somerville when? legalized like a couple of <laughs> months ago. Excited. I'm gonna move there. I'm telling you, yeah, it's happening here, dude. It's happening from right Lynn to like, Somerville. Right here Backyard, I go. Bro. Excuse me, I don't <laughs> live there anywhere near here. But I'm just saying, yo, like these You're cities far. are making big pushes. And it's, it's pretty cool to see. I, I, I align with it. I it's talk with it. It's hard because I just don't, I don't see a positive or negative because I don't do it or deal with it. For you like gambling, right? That's a drug. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an addiction. Um, that's an addiction. Listen, that's a literal but they addiction. Legalize. But it's legal. It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. Honestly, see, why, why it's should not, you have that freedom, bro? And not, and not like, I can't do some heroin when well, I want. It's well, the thing is, is like, who, who do I hurt except for Free myself? Free base some coke. Wait, what? You hurt who yourself? Who do I hurt myself? Okay. So oh yeah, I'm exactly. Kidding. So, like, who cares are, about like you? killing people, like to whoa, steal whoa, whoa, drugs whoa, whoa, whoa. and money. I'm and generalizing here. here. Yeah, that's generalizing. And <laughs> out here, <laughs> not all. Not right. all crackheads kill each other. <laughs> I've met some really nice crackheads in my time. I, I have too, honestly. I know you have. I attract a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> you attract a lot of weirdos. We get it. <laughs> we know. Okay. Just friends yeah. with some strange people. Okay. Back to drugs. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I know around here in Boston, we know there's been a. Pretty bad, surge. pretty bad drug problems in the New yeah. England area. Yeah, so. just go to uh, what's that street called? The They've me- made multiple meth- movies. Meth- methadone, methadone, uh, methadone, 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 and you'll just all, see The Walking Dead. But it's it's like I don't like that shit. It's all these. <laughs> you don't like Walking Dead? Neither do I. Don't fuck with it. Nah. Anyway, nah. like, you, but you see, like, down south, right here, and all the um, and like they in got, the Cape and too. Plymouth, yo, they got big problems up here too. Everybody's just staying at their home and doing these drugs. It's not like they're actually committing fucking felonies. Islam. <laughs> I just, I I'm, just think- I'm for real. I'm like, yo, people just want to do it. It's just that the act of selling is illegal. I, the fact that they're making money that's not yeah, taxable. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if you do drugs or not, personally. Saying, it doesn't affect yo, me at all sure. whatsoever. You know, when I was in New Orleans, um, uh, what is that street called? Um, Canal Street. Bourbon Harvey? Street. Yeah. So they have these gypsies, like these homeless people that like are high on drugs and they will tell you your like future. They're like fortune tellers and shit like that. Yo, All right. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't believe in that shit. I don't give a fuck who you think you are or what school you went to or you studied. Yo, this f- guy, I don't know what drugs he was on. Yo, he was telling me shit about myself that I've never told anybody in my life. And like, so me and my girlfriend, Ashley, we're just sitting there and he's telling me about stuff that I've done and that she's done that we know and... And I'm just staring at this guy, and I'm like, "Whoa! So did don't they just don't they just Yo, say vague, general like vague. just general things? No, like no, he wasn't telling okay, me general things. Like he was telling her what job she did. He told me what field I was in. Maybe right, you just well, throw your ID to your fucking. No, I like, didn't. We just came up. We gave him money, and you know he's how many like, nurses exist in America? No, yeah. but it's not that. Like it, he can get it wrong. Like he knew some maybe twenty percent of the time and get it right. More. You're no, in the he, medical field. You're a nurse. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. It was. It was the drugs. It. I. I, I don't. As he I don't gave know. him the twenty dollars, he was like, "Hello, Islam Duane. What <laughs> the fuck? Yo, he, he knew took s- a he took a bump. And he took a exactly. bump. Yeah, exactly. Yo, he, he, yes. he couldn't even look me in the eyes. Locked like he was so out of it. That's the only real. thing thing that like i was like i'm a believer keep doing more heroin buddy for the record that's like the i don't know if you guys have ever played the fallout games and fallout 4 there was a character that did the same thing basically she just got higher out of her fucking mind and oh yeah she could like that. see the fucking future 
Yo, I, I, I don't know what it is, but it may be Believer. I think there's only one logical step here. We Scott. Have to, we have to give... I remember him. If he was still on Bourbon Street, I love you, buddy. Scott, <laughs> Scott from Bourbon Street. Maybe, maybe if we make Chris do a whole bunch of heroin and we just ask him, like, hey, like, what's going to happen tomorrow? And he's I like, oh, it's going to rain. And we're will like, oh, shit. Bitcoin crash? I need yes. you to tell me. It crashed hard, yo. 44,000. Yeah, yeah. oh, okay, 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 yeah, we, okay. Uh, we don't I'm just, he doesn't need to be no. reminded of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> You're down. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I mean, how do how do you, like, because the problem is not one that like, they're just doing drugs, right? It's bad enough that they're already addicted to some hard shit, right? It's even worse that they're going to go to jail for it and it's going to make their life even harder in the future. Because they're yeah. going to get out of jail. They're going to probably still, like, they have no a harder time getting a job. They didn't really learn any useful skills while they were in jail because that's not how our prison system really works. Like, how do you know? Huh? It's like a double. Because you've been you. there. There's like one out of a thousand that becomes like a fucking Muslim like priest preaching to what's the fucking. What's wrong with that? I'm not, I'm not saying that's nothing wrong with that. But one the in one, floor, what's wrong one with that? in one thousand. What's wrong one with in that? One thousand. Why, why are you seeing out Muslims? the Muslims? Hi, like, I gotta quit this job. Yeah, because, uh, and I'm like, and I'm like, because let's face it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like, they, what what opportunity do you have in life after you you get caught doing drugs? None. You get caught doing heroin. None. You go to jail, and then that's forever on your record that you did you that. You went you to jail. Look right? up just go to the military. Look up the statistic. What? Statistic for what? Yeah, but did you can't be like a just drug general addict statistic in, in the heroin use. Type it in, see what happens. Like, not what you like, type in. yeah, like what? Um, <laughs> I don't know. What's the statistics for like reformation and like? I'm sure it's low. Right? What's I'm like? Sure how do low. you like? What's the reform rate in like Boston? Ladies what? and gentlemen, like, as you see, I am not using Google. But we're using Bing, Bing. because Bing, Bing is the superior search engine. That's and the Google yeah. monopoly. Hoping. Oh God. Well, oh. Chris, Chris doesn't oh know how to use. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He doesn't even know how to use Bing. I don't know how Chris, to use Bing. Not Pornhub. Type in P. Type in P. <laughs> the positives of getting no, when am I heroin O-U. legalized. <laughs> when am I J-I-Z-Z. Huh? Dot com. Just look up uh, drug addict reformation. And just type that into the search bar. Maybe J I Z Z dot com. Drug addict relapse. Reform. Reform. Reddit. Or do relapse. Actually. Shut up. Relapse. Do relapse. Do drug relapse. addict. Drug addict. Reddit. Reddit. <laughs> it's a Reddit thread of drug addicts. We Yo, just come it. on and talk shit to each other. Okay, I had a trip that. last night. Like why we need? Okay, you click that article. Let's see what's going on on there. Oh my god, I don't want to read articles. Just Wait, scroll that, down. We're just scroll looking down, for down. Scroll down. And the drug to war stop to stop kill. killing. They put a stop sign. Okay, after fifty years, da, 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 this is this is this is not. Keeps me going. Anything. What is the war on drugs? How have puni- okay? Hold on, scroll up, scroll up. Stop right there. That uh, that one more, a little bit, a little bit. Seventy thousand people died from. Drugs. Oh look, we, the Mexican we government look- is involved. That's what's up. Thirty-four thousand people have been killed in drug-related murders. Two thousand six, two thousand ten. That's when it, yo, that's putting it. Well, Mexico got crazy. More than seventy thousand people died from drug overdoses in twenty seventeen. Wow, Holy fuck! It's estimated that twelve million people who inject. Wait. Among the 12 million people who inject drugs da- globally daily, one in 10 live with HIV. An estimated 10 million people who inject drugs have chronic hepatitis, hepatitis C virus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little far from the TV here. Treatments are available and new infections are avoidable, but tough on drug laws have prevented. Okay, whatever. Mass Wait, incarceration. If- oh, how about that? The number of Americans incarcerated for drug offenses has skyrocketed from ju- uh, almost 41,000 in 1980 to <laughs> almost oh half a million God. people in 2015 Holy at the state fuck. level. And that's wow. in one year. That's in a single fucking year. And we're running out of room, huh? But that's that's clearly. I mean, that just shit. That just shows that, like, globally, one in five people are in jail for a drug offense. All yeah. right, listen. I'm gonna. I'm. I have. I had a coworker. I loved him to death. Um, normal, normal guy. Right. Was in and out of jail for a little bit. Really, like, had a heroin problem. Um, cool guy. You know, kind of like fixed his life. Had a kid. Um, had a girlfriend. Long term. Um, one day he just stopped showing up to work and we were like really close. Like we texted, we hung out outside of work and everything like that. And, um, two weeks, I think he went on a bender. His wife couldn't find him. Oh word. He relapsed really? it, and went on a bender for, um, for like a week. So he came out of nowhere and he was like, Islam, I need $40. And I'm like, I'm not going to give you $40 cause I know what $40 is for. I'm not stupid. You know, I get it. And, so you um, gave him 80. Give him 120, <laughs> just just in case. Just in case, here you're gonna need um, 43 times. So bro. no, but he was he was explaining to me that like if you want rehab as like a like like an addict, <clears throat> they only keep you in for a week at a time, and then they kick you out to bring somebody else in. So like if a week isn't enough for somebody, like we don't take care of the people. Like this is a mental issue. I I, I think it is, and like people need. Like serious help, and like we're taking them in for a week, and then being like, "Oh, sorry, we need room for somebody else." Like we don't, 
Well, that's the we issue, right? Like, is they don't have enough resources available yeah, to them. Yeah, and that, we yeah, do, we, it, that I'd rather sucks. spend money if we're like, because if you think about it, right? We're spending money to house these people either fucking way. Yeah. We're either paying for a prison for them to be kept in for years at a time, or you can pay for a rehab and have them be in a place for possibly a few weeks or a month. Yeah. So why and, can't they just reform and do therapy it, in prison? Because it's not cheap. Because in it's prison, a private, private, it's a private prison system as well. Yeah. It's a for profit, and they, not only that, but prisoners are labor. Yeah. They usually work. And not only do they work, and Chris, if you can look this up, I think there's slavery is completely banned in the United States and including in that in the Emancipation Proclamation in all cases except for prisoners. Prisoners can oh, effectively yeah. still be slaves. So that's yeah, the only so, way to still so technically be. like when the wildfires happened. Like oh yeah, they, they had, were firefighters. They had, they had oh mass yeah, prisoners that were. They had prisoners going out like, there to fight paid, fires for like a dollar nothing. a day. Yeah, basically. They had like heroin nothing. addicts out there fucking yeah. fighting fires, bro. Those guys are. Fearless. I'm not saying everybody. <laughs> they <don't, laughs> they're fearless. They don't feel anything. <laughs> they don't feel anything. They're Bob, like, why are you in the flames? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Jim! It's like you want to go see sunlight for a fo- yeah. You guys see a needle on the ground? Yeah, couple- but it's in the fire. <laughs> oh, I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I'm, and then after they they got out of jail and they have fireman experience, they can't even get a job as firemen. No, no yeah, they, they're, not, they're well, not, not allowed to. It's, because, not, it's not experience. Well, no, but they're also it's, just convicts. Like a, they wouldn't have like any experience no, to me. Yeah, yeah, it's like no. I took down the fire of this, 2020. This, this it doesn't matter. The whole state of California yeah, was on fire. They sent me there to stop it. But no, they're going to take this dude who just got out of the academy because... Yeah, where he had no fire experience. But he's got no prior, well, so he doesn't even, have a no, conviction. They, they can't take you because you have a conviction Sounds of heroin ridiculous. use. Like, yeah. yeah. No, it, it, it's, it's... I mean, I hope he never, like, hears, hears this, but he's a lot older. Um, Is he okay now? Yeah, I kind of lost touch with him because, like, I would message his Fuck, wife. He's dead. No, 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 no. He's <laughs> he's he's, he's good. He's good. Good. No, no. I love him. He's he's a good guy. No, he's good. I would text his wife a lot, and um, I'm like, hey, you know, and she's like, we haven't heard from him. He's gone. He stole eight hundred dollars and just left. Like, Fuck. and he had a kid who's like on the spectrum, and like, Damn. no, I I I I I text the kid every once in a while. Like, we talk, but like, it's very hard to see situations like that where like his family was trying to like seek help for him and like even having that connection with them like you know them because of your uh, of the of the father yeah who ran out on his kids because of the well well addiction. yeah he's you know back I mean? now from what i hear and like they're doing really well but like man that was like a long two years and it can happen like, at any time man. exactly it can happen at to any anyone. time yo i worked with him for three People years to live with this shit, three years yo. the first year he was fine we hung out. We like we went and out to something drink. Happened. It was just something like something happened, which caused the whole effect. Right? Exactly, but I I don't know but what don't that know. thing is. Yeah, we, we don't. He just started hanging out with like I guess his old crew or like old people, and I mm, guess like yeah. it just like triggered him, and just like one day he just stopped showing up to work. Now, let's uh, let's think back to the question of of the drug use, right? With people dying and everything like that, and 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 not really knowing what you're putting into your system. Like, if we legalize these drugs, tax them to whatever we need to in order to actually have them in the hands of American people, if they want it, people will be getting actual product, real shit, not stuff that it's not fucking cut with it's safe. baking soda. It's not cut it's with safe. it's it's safer. I don't it's, think it's the product. I think I I think certain people need a place. The product, not no, even the, not even just the, the place, pro- but think of something like fentanyl. Fentanyl is highly, 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 highly deadly. Yeah, but that's very potent. Yeah, that's yeah. it. People the, fuck around with it. Yeah, but people won't put like. Doctor, like doctors or whatever it is, yeah. if you were to be able to go to a dispensary and go buy it, they're not going to sell you fentanyl. That's just synthesized. Pers- they're going to yeah. give you heroin. But that's the thing. You're getting pure 100% heroin. I don't know. You're getting fucking like the the the, the weed version, Maui flower heroin. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but you're getting a certain, like you're actually getting real shit, not yeah. stuff that's cut, not stuff that could kill you. It doesn't have fucking gasoline tied to it or but something. But also, like it wouldn't I mean, end. It wouldn't like cares. end your your life. You know what I mean? Like, even if like you survived your fucking drugs, but if you were caught doing something illegal, you're double fucked. Like we said. Yeah. You know, going to jail is not a good thing. Not for like something drug related. Well, exactly. Nobody it's wants to hire those people. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but especially if like you have some sort of um, let's call it disease, and you like fall back in. So it's like you have two things to worry about. You know, you have your family. You're like fuck. Now you're in jail. You can't get a job, and it's just like an endless cycle. Like. Personally, we pay taxes and the streets are still filled with potholes. Yeah. I just... Yeah. Like At the end of the day, like we're already putting money into something that we're not getting. So when people are like, oh, you want me to pay taxes so these people can do drugs? Like, yeah, we're you, already paying taxes and the streets aren't getting fixed. Yeah. You're, you're right. No, you know that that is a fucking problem, right? Because people don't see it. 
they're like, why should I support some drug addict? Why should I pay extra money to, you know, make some dude who wasted his life, you know, have, I don't know, fucking some fancy rehab center and this and this and that. And yeah. it's like, you know, you may not like it, but like you already are paying for it. He might, he could go to rehab for a month or he could go to jail for three years. You know what? Yeah. What's, what's more expensive to you? And they're like, oh, but it's cheaper to be in jail. I'm like, yeah, but you're talking about three fucking years, four or five years. Some of these guys are going to jail for even longer than that. Repeated just, offenders. Like, pe- it's and constant. we pay taxes and And you need the, the police private. officers to go out there and arrest yeah, and them. And we're and paying. And you need to yeah. house them and you need to feed them. And then you need to go through the court system again because you can't just send them to jail. They need so to go and get arraigned. Oh, yo, money. I know, but they all cost money. But it also, it's worth it. You know why? Because it's like, I live out here. This, this, this little street, Atwood Street, Hawes. And the one right across. Yeah, keep, keep in whatever ahead. city it's, that we're it's, talking it's, about. GPS it. In Revere, Mass. You know, <laughs> Zero two these, one five these, one. Th- th- these streets, yo, they're, they're filled with. They got a couple of cra- uh, like yeah, but we addicts and everything. But check this out. We if grew you tell up them, here. We know that. Yeah, I mean, it's I there's a good side. It's it's been, no. There's the ambulances are coming Fred by much Brian. more frequently. Like you can tell, and it's not just you could tell they're going to the same houses and they're taking out the same kids. Yeah. Or the same people. Yeah. And it's 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 sad to like at least like twice a week. At least twice a week, it's always the same. It's yeah. it's unfortunate. It's it's kind of crazy to see that shit, and it's just like you know what? If I'm taking money out of my pocket to pay for them to for their well being, for my community to be just to have the resources, I'll do it. I'd rather I'd rather that than I'd rather go to that. jail because yeah, they're so not they're not criminals. If they're actually helping. and they won't be productive, bro. Like you gotta make like people gotta make. We got to be a, pr- a productive member of society somehow. If they're not you know getting I mean? the help, then there's no, you know. Okay, Chris, I, I got to quit because your father was a police officer. How do, you, how do you feel towards it? Because, like, obviously, they're, like, a big part. Fuck the law. They're, no, they're a big piece Shit. of this conversation, <laughs> I'm right? <insulted. laughs> no, I'm you insulted. You know, like, do you do you think, like, he felt that they were, like, criminals for doing drugs and, like, deserved to be, like, arrested in jail? Bro, yeah, or did he feel, uh, like, because I know in some cases, police officers, like, hey, man, like, just cut the shit out. Like, you don't, I know you don't, you don't want to go to jail for this. I've seen it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll yeah, just yeah. take the drugs away from you, but they're like, dude, you don't deserve to be arrested for this. Like, you're not, you're not hurting anyone. You're hurting yourself. But like, this is illegal. I can't let you keep it. But like, you know, not all police officers believe in that line. Some of them are like, all right, like I'm gonna do my job to the T. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrest you. I'm gonna take you in. Some of them are like, we're gonna pull those drugs away. But like, obviously, that that plays a big role in this. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of the times, like like from what what I've seen, and I'm gonna let you, yeah, do yeah. your thing. But like going back to like the usage. I, I used to camp out at um, Expressions in Washington Street in downtown Boston a lot yeah. for sneaker releases. You know how many homeless people I've seen Lots. walk into that 7-Eleven, steal a mouthwash, and stand outside to wait for the cops to come for a warm meal and somewhere to like sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the it, it's half the time... At least their breath was fresh. Yeah. <laughs> But, it's but half the time, half the time, I feel like the cops are coming and they're like, "All right, they like just want to go get something to eat." It's part right. of a dysfunctional it's system. Not, yeah. it's, it's not worth it. You're place. taking you're taking them away from things that they could no, they, they uh, could really be uh, helping people. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So you know? sorry, Chris, but go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So I don't want to put words into my dad's mouth. So yeah, and then you know what else? I- <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you don't want to put your no, no, just like let me know what was the yeah, what was the vibe? You grew up in a police family, yeah, exactly. exactly. You definitely have different views on it than us. My dad was on the force for like years and years and years and years and years. He was in it during some of like the really like 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 like, I don't want to go too off topic, but there was like a picture of him like holding me as a baby. He had like like the poor mustache, (laughs) (laughs) like a super trooper. (laughs) Yeah, like a super trooper. Basically, so he's seen 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 the rise. He's been on the force for a while, but I think all these people, all these cops, have been on the force for a while. They just, they just don't care about the drugs. Like, if it's not a lot, I think they let them go. Because like, what's the the truth? You know, they have to arrest them if it's like you know a huge amount. But I think they, I think they feel. I mean, I agree with arresting like big dealers of hard drugs. I just don't think like you're arresting someone for coke. Is he's also kind of like old schoolish? So like you know. Well, that's what I mean, right? Is like because that's an attitude for a lot of people where they're like, all right, like a lot of my friends that are cops in small cities, like they'll arrest you for anything. They don't care. Not them in particular, like just the city. Because the city wants, like, if it's a small city, they want it to be a clean city, a nice neighborhood, and they want things to, like, fit perfectly, and they want everybody to, like, fit in and pay their taxes and have nothing bad to say about the police. Um, So, like, I know, like, a friend of mine in Winthrop, like, they have a lot of drug problems, but it's just, like, they have to crack down on it because it's a small small city. city. But I also have friends in Chelsea where it's just, like, if you get caught, they, like... Just take your shit and tell you to get the fuck out of here. Illegal drugs usually usually lead to violence, so that's why they not uh, all the time. I mean, but I'm saying not but, all the time, but it's not always like 
I don't want to say it's not intentional, right? But like, it's like desperation violence where you're so addicted to something and you're so desperate to get another hit that you'll fucking steal something. Yeah. yeah that you'll rob someone. That's Because like, mean. you want it. It'll push you to a limit. Uh, and it's, it's violence, right? But it's not like, like, I don't know how to put it, right? It, I don't think, I don't feel like it's intentional. It's like, you're, it's so beyond you at this point and you don't have any other alternatives for help. You can't here. go get rehab. All you can do is either steal the money, sit there, go through withdrawals with no, you know, no, no, med, no medical help around you. You know, like what? What do you do? You also hear about those people that like have like bad trips and like mm -hmm. go and like think they they can fly, jump off of a, a bridge and shit like that. Well, that's why they have like controlled environments now. Well, well, yeah. Like, should that be a thing? I, think I, so. I mean, I think it, I think it is a step in the right direction towards offering them more help. Right. So like. So like mushrooms, for example, it's starting to get more legalized. It's because there's a lot of positives for doing shrooms. Like what? Um, only because I'm not trying to be a smart ass. Only because I have no fucking. I am. Like what? <laughs> well, the, the number one most positive thing is like it kind of cures depression. So if you look at the studies, um, people that are depressed and are on depression pills, they would give them mu mushrooms in a controlled environment and they would be out of it. I don't know. So, Chris, can you just go back to that article? It's I just not, want to touch it's, on one thing. It, it's very weird because I feel like depression, I don't know, depression is like a weird thing, a weird conversation to have because I feel like it stems from like a bigger thing and right. you so, can't so what be is cured. Depression? So what is depression? A chemical imbalance. Well, not always a chemical imbalance. It's a chemical I, imbalance. I feel like, okay. It's, it's a lower level of dopamine that's not getting into your system. Okay, but sometimes you have people that like are fine and then one traumatic Which instance, causes dopamine it's, it's, levels. It's, yeah, to it's yeah, very exactly. experimental. So, it's I get like, the press when I look at Islam. Correct. So uh, your yeah. dopamine levels will go down. So you want to take some shrooms with I think there's got to be a difference because sometimes some something shrooms. will make you depressed and some the same acid. thing will not make you depressed the yeah. other day. So there must be some kind of Chemical issue with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like mushrooms do, uh, it's very experimental right now. It's in the beginning phase. People are basically, are like in Denver or whatever, Colorado, how it's like. They're you know, seeing how it fixes Exactly. The they're, they're finally doing, they're able to do studies because they decriminalized it to see exactly what affects mushrooms like scientific actual scientific like research university research like studies controlled right now. experiments exactly in groups, order to everything. see the the the, 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 the what's it called the effects of mushrooms to so uh, they did, fucking veterans or something like that people like that are really trauma, fucked up in a month PTSD, oh, PTSD, okay. PTSD or, or deal with or, or deal or deal with it but i'm saying like trauma depression because of the fix of dopamine that you need every so often it's it's mushrooms are 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 starting just starting right. to be researched so, on a university level to get answers to you get know what real else releases dopamine answers. masturbating right so, so they're not masturbating <laughs> so they, they probably don't masturbate some, some people are chronic enough. masturbators though some people are addicted to that shit too because it's well, too much well hold on sometimes. a second hold on a second now are we talking about addiction or drugs because I don't think masturbating is a drug, but it is an addiction sometimes, like gambling and alcohol. Right, well, we're, we're well, generally that is, that talking is, about legalizing drugs, right? We're generally uh, talking I mean, about legalizing drugs, right? But the issue with drugs is that they are addictive. And the problem with the fact that they're addictive is that they have no way of stopping. Yeah. So yeah. You, don't, like, you don't fix drugs by, like, you don't, you're not stopping heroin. We oh, yeah. can't just stop heroin. You have to stop people from wanting to use heroin. And yeah. If they are, you have to give them the support to be able to be like, okay, I don't need this anymore. You have to ease it. You have to ease it. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it, but it, it can be relatable to any type of other addiction itself. It's just that dopamine fix that everybody needs in order to keep everything going. I mean, yeah. anything well, I from think gambling to I'm not addicted to gambling. To yes, you are. Personally, I think I think the process of getting someone like off of like cigarettes, getting someone off of heroin, and getting somebody off of being a fucking chronic masturbator. I think you'll have you'll start at the same roots for all three of those problems. Well, like for cigarettes, because they're like they have an addiction. They're clearly like they can't stop doing something, whether it's a drug, whether it's like you can't stop the fucking sensation of masturbating. It's just too good to you, and you can't. It's all chemicals. But for it's like chemical. for cigarettes, you get like pills and stuff that, or the nicotine patch, or the nicotine oh, patches. Oh, like, um, what about what about heroin? Yeah. But like. The point is, like, you have to start well, at a no point heroin to stop. Bro. To well, stop I know that. It's not made yet because there's no experiments. <laughs> because they don't allow it. If Correct. They, if they so, allowed it, maybe we could have some sort of heroin patch so or they, heroin they were, lozenge to, for people to take. So back then, right, like in the when the drugs were on the rise in the 60s and 70s, right, they were doing all these control experiments and they were starting to do it all. Like, they did LSD experiments and they found out that it did almost the same as same, same thing as shrooms. You know, it, it, it cured depression, PTSD, blah, blah, blah. But then... Was it Reagan? Who's who's the one that stopped it? Nixon. Nixon. Reagan. It was Nixon that okay. one that stopped the say no to drugs bullshit, and that stopped all the experiments. 
and what happened then? All all drugs became illegal, and then shit got worse, right? Yeah. So, so what we're seeing is a change. In of that. course, right? But things got worse. So, in this article, thankfully, there's a <laughs> section right here that references Portugal, which I I'm a, I'm a big fan of how their system did. They it. have great sergeants. They decriminalized everything in 2001. Wow. Right. I didn't even know that. All drugs. You get caught with fucking anything you want on the street. Yeah. No problem. So I think the most important thing okay. in that paragraph is the the sentence on the bottom from like 1999, 2008, the number of people incarcerated in Portugal for drug offenses fell 44%. I mean, yeah, you make something illegal. I mean, you make something legal. They're, of course, they're going to say that's, natural. That's uh, less money going into the prison system. Und- yeah, true yeah. that. And that's, but like, what are they doing for like the rehab processes or anything? I mean, obviously, like that. it doesn't say that. But I, I've like, seen, I've seen like one Vice video of Portugal of 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 officers. They're obliged, they're obligated. Sorry, they're obligated to to help you. Yeah. In your in your in your to assist you in your overdose or or trip right. or anything like that but that's it they can't do anything else they have to assist you so, they'll have the fucking narcan bah, put it in you if they have to but yeah. no rest you just keep going about your way so just pointing back into that cuz you did mention it um i know you were like oh but like if you make something illegal of course like you know uh, or like if you de- if you decriminalize it right less yeah. people are going to get arrested so that's not a, like that's not a clear statistic that, that not. that's not a clear statistic it doesn't really prove anything right yeah. but if you go to the top uh it said Right there, uh, decriminalization of all drugs or regulation of adult access for cannabis, crime addiction did crime and addiction did not increase, uh, and there were important benefits. Crime nice. and addiction did not increase, and on the bottom there it says there was a drop in HIV related drug transmission. Of course, uh, they also it doesn't say that there either. However, they did open up treatment to people. So rather than arresting them, right, they gave them the choice. And they were like, hey, the government will sponsor your rehab. You can go to rehab for free because they can control, and it's unlimited. So the government has set up rehab centers dedicated to assisting people with their drug problems. It's just it's 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 a re, it's a it's a answer to a real world problem. That's why that's why I fuck with Portugal right here. It's like they had a problem and they approached it in a way that was beneficial to not only their government and their spending, but their citizens themselves. You right. know what I mean? You know what? I'm going to play Africa's devil here, okay? <clears throat> devil, devil, devil's advocate. I got I'll a response for you in the next <laughs> paragraph, but you go ahead. You go right fucking ahead, bro. I want to hear this okay. shit. Okay. Oh, I mean I I'm thinking the same way, but I'm also thinking in the other you fucking point of view. narc. So, if a police officer is trying to narcan you until you're up, and there's other crimes he's not narcanning, fixing <laughs> crimes, shootings, murder, so wasting yeah, their time. More okay, like wasting but we, time. Well, exact. But hold on, hold on. To defeat that 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 fucking that that point, they clearly said that 44 percent of their fucking drug offensive uh, offenses. Went went dropped, went dropped. So, so that they had more time to do no, all. It, it, but it, it just the, said the they long, weren't incarcerated. In the, in the long term, though, like obviously, what you're saying is very is a very real situation that's going to happen in the short term. In in the period now, if today we were to de- decriminalize all drugs and we're like, we just gave police officers a whole bunch of Narcan and we're like, hey, if you see anybody needs help, give them the help, you know, but let them know that there's support available out there. You're not going to see a change this year, probably not. Yeah. Maybe next year you'll see the numbers drop slightly. Five years from now, you're gonna like. Them for like it was from like 1999 to 2008. That's like nine years, right? Yeah. In the first year, I doubt that numbers changed very much. I'm sure all the drug addicts were like, "Dope, everything is fucking available," right? Yeah. And then they were like, "This kind of sucks." But it's they had an alter- they had an alternative <laughs> option available to them. They never had another choice other than just being a drug addict. Once yeah. you're one, you just know what what path do you take, right? They offered them rehab. I'm they listening. I'm listening to you. I'm really, really listening to you. But you have a white hair. Oh, I'm getting gray. Yeah, okay. it's because of all the stress that drugs in America. Are bringing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, Sorry, I'm distracted. So over the years, the drug numbers will slowly decline, but that decline becomes exponential because these addicts are encouraging each other on right. the streets. They're getting drugs from each other. They're connecting each other to other drug dealers. At some point, like those numbers start to dwindle. Drug right. dealers stop selling drugs because if the government is just, or if you can just go to the store and buy it, why go to a dealer? You don't why if you can do it safely somewhere, why do it somewhere unsafe? If you can get help for it, then why sit there and suffer? You know what's funny though? Like for when they leave just a quick side note, when they legalize marijuana here, I know a lot of like um a lot of people that were in that business illegally and they um and they were they wanted no. They were voting no on the marijuana <laughs> question. They're like, nah, bro, they're gonna take my business, cuz like I need everything. Well yeah, because they were still gonna go to jail it's for it, selling it. It's yeah. The truth, yeah. Yeah. But on the on the the following paragraph, if you uh, if it's you funny. if you look right up there, right, it, it tells us it, we have an exact opposite story. Well, uh, when, when in Mexico's case, and I'm sure Sal's really fucking aware of this, and I mean honestly, like we're all really aware of what 
how things are going down there. It's like, all right, like, fuck making people safer. Screw, like, the liberal policy. Let's go for a more punitive approach. All Let's, out military. All out militarized all out war on war drugs, drugs. Right? 250,000 people died. Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. That was like, they, they, they announced it on the TVs. They're like, we say no in to Spanish, narcos. say it in Espanol. Yeah, say it in okay. Spanish. Uh, it, no, get, do it. I'm not, I, Come on. I don't know exactly how they clip. said it. Bro. Go! This is a clip. Dude, just what you said, uh, but in Spanish. I don't know. I, I don't know the, the exact way that they said it in Spanish. It was the whole Al militar, point. Uh, shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Drug dealer. That's more Borat. That's, uh, if yeah, that's more, very, very Borat. What are we right. in the Middle East, bro? Yeah. That was the Algerian version of it. But anyways, <laughs> like they made a big push. Um, oh, they pushed. They, they, to two hundred fifty. Every every time that they caught a huge narco, they would put it on fucking. It was front news. It was in all the newspapers. They were publicizing it just to make it look. These motherfuckers got even stronger, dude. They got even stronger. Fuck that. They started building building militaries of their own. Dude, they're decked out. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Decked but out. it just shows what like... So an all-out military plan for America is not the way to go, apparently. No, it's not because, I mean, you could just see... I mean, Mex- when you fight, yeah. you got to fight back. Right? Now, now, the president today is like super far left where they're like, he's saying like, let's just... You know what the problem is, though? Problem, America's though. a different case. America is the problem for Mexico. Hmm? I said America is Mexico's problem. We take their supply. All of these drugs are not being consumed by mostly Mexicans. They created the it. The money basically. is coming from the fucking Americans across the border mm. that are fucking consuming all this shit. Yeah. Who 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 can pay fucking like two, three hundred dollars for fucking cocaine? You know American. what? Regularly in wall. Mexico. Build, build that wall, build keep it, the bro. Americans yeah. out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> keep the Americans out. Dude, that, that keep the keep Mexicans, Americans in, dude. Stop keeping the Mexicans in. It's keep the Americans out. Dude, they, they here, literally though. launched a whole fucking war against these guys. You think a wall is gonna fucking stop them? They, yes. You don't think they could just fucking throw that <laughs> shit over the wait, wall? Si- the fuck on. Side it's not gonna note. stop you know what? You know what? There's a lot of there's a lot of drug movements happening over now to Europe. They're skipping America and going straight to Europe it's because more people go. But that's there's what that's where the fucking market is. Dude. Yeah, that's Europe the fucking right problem now, for Mexico. Yeah. It's shit's never gonna stop, dude. They could have fucking like Terminators out there chasing drug dealers. It's not gonna fucking it's stop. Uh, the money Terminator would do a good job. A Mexican with a donkey will do more work <laughs> I've than seen Terminator the out there. I've bro. seen the movies. All three of them. Fucker will move. Those things will not die. <laughs> I, I've seen I've seen the there's like this video and they're like this is the wall that was built. And they look around and there's like people like jumping over the wall. There's like holes in the wall. <laughs> there's holes in the wall. They have a fucking seesaw going straight through with one <laughs> one side has an American kid, the other side has a Mexican kid. They're just going up and or, down and they can switch. That shit is no, some of them an have bars. Park. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. of them are just barred. You just or, fucking put it through the bar. Like it's how hard they, could it be? Or they go all the way to the end and there's no wall. There's they no just wall. walk around. There's like they're like a boulder. <laughs> they're like they're so worried about fucking illegal immigration. I'm like, dude, I'm more worried pass. about the fucking Please. drugs. <laughs> Dude, whatever. People want to come here and work. I don't give a fuck. Like, let's stop the fucking drugs. Yeah, yeah I think the drugs. But you guys built a fucking wall with fucking holes in it. It's fucking bars. You just put it right through. You, you can know fucking what? throw it. It's not that high. No, no it's first, not that high. First These guys all, have their own fucking planes for, and boats and yeah, submarines yeah. and tunnels. And submarines. tunnels. <laughs> with the wall. But first of all, so. most of them got dome. They got the fucking Amtrak all underground. They need to build a dome, all most, to build a dome around Mexico. Mexicans are not We knew like people that FedEx their drugs. Most Mexicans yep. are not that big. They're pretty skinny. They can walk right through. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, we can. <laughs> it's, 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 that, that fucking wall There is needs to hilarious. be a 360 dome all over Mexico. If anything, you know dude, what I mean? all you, all, what you have... Just legalize it. <laughs> just legalize, legalize it. It just seems legal, like the easiest and, and, and le- possible it's idea. It's the easiest Wait, thing and just over time... Legalizing what? All fucking drugs. Mexicans coming over or the drugs? I think that's Keep true. them out too. Oh, keep them just, out a, too. Just, just a drug. <laughs> just, to, just legalize drugs and over time it will help. Like some people say that we're too far gone, but I'm like, you know what, dog? I don't think so. In the, the long, thing, in the, that's, that's the worst mentality, right? That, that's, that a that's, a, that's a losing mentality. That's a losing mentality. I'm Chris like, mentality. that's a stupid. Yeah. We got to put my boy Chris. Like, yeah, man, <laughs> he hasn't yeah. done anything. Has he done anything? Urban, He's you're a fucking <laughs> loser. I'll snap you in half. <laughs> oh my God. He's hell fuck you in you half. You see that? He bought a Mexico he'll me. fuck you in half. He's about a Mexico me, bro. <laughs> That's not what you said, Chris? I heard fuck me in half. I said snap, but I'll fuck too. I'll <laughs> yeah, fuck too. Well, he you heard it here live. Sound. Chris doesn't date. He just fucks Irvin. <laughs> You're making Sal it's jealous. Sal. You're faking Sal jealous. Sal, I'm sorry. Yo, what the fuck? I thought that shit was special <laughs> just between me and you, man. Yeah. Shit. Any, anyway, like, I don't... Clearly, the violent shit does not work. Yeah. We've, we've been cracking down on drugs since the fucking 70s. 50 years later... They're on the Ita- fucking street I- doing it in front of the Italian hospital gangsters. with police officers watching them. Italian oh, yeah. gangsters. They, dude, like their the drugs Lido. are being moved forever. Like the DiCaprio movie. What's that movie called? The Cap- even, even during the Prohibition. Fault in our stars. The bo- Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> that Titanic. <show>? Titanic. <laughs> when, they flew, when they boated drugs to Europe. 
they sunk the ship That's on purpose, and then the narco about. subs recovered all but, the drugs from the like bottom Italian of the ocean. Italian gangsters are like moved cocaine a lot. I believe it, but like whatever, like they were the dealers. Like the, the the dealers obviously are the greater problem, but we're not addressing dealers, right? We're addressing users. The bigger, yeah, yeah. The, the, the we're addressing users problem. the wrong way, right? We're addressing users the wrong fucking way. We're just incarcerating them. That doesn't solve the drug problem. And just fucking, t- they get drugs in jail too. Oh my god! They get drugs in fucking prison. It we can't even stop, stop them from continuing to get yeah. drugs. That's how you know we have a. <laughs> yo, so what is it? What is the point of even putting them yo, in jail? You, I don't know how. Yo, they need to employ these freaking prisoners somehow. They get those shit in, it and then they get caught, and they're like, "Okay, brainstorming session. How do we get more in here?" And they fucking get it in they there. They figure it out. Yeah, they fucking figure it no, out. It has to be the yeah, most the efficient processes, like type of fucking yeah. movers. Yo, you give it. imagine if you get a bunch of prisoners, right, and you, you put them, them inside of a think tank, and you're like, "Solve poverty." It'll be done. It'll be <laughs> fucking done. Mm-hmm. They'll figure out somehow to get it here. Hey, the most hey, convenient. Hey, hey. Maybe, we fucking four, maybe 405 people. people are going to get stabbed, but the problem's going to be solved. <laughs> eh? But you're, we also just discredit these people as a fucking society. Yeah. yeah. They are smart. They fucking are smart. These dudes figure out how to get past walls and guards with guns and all kinds of shit, and they fucking smuggle iPhones and laptops and movies and fucking ramen, I hear, is really popular in jail. Like oh, They yeah. get everything they fucking want in there. And drugs. Yeah. How? Well, Dude, they're clearly, they have more, they have better head on their shoulders than we're fucking giving them credit for. Like, they're capable of doing shit, right? Well, we just don't give them an opportunity to. What blows my mind is when you see those, uh, like, uh, not six days in there, what is it like? It's those jail movies, right? And they, like, figure out how to give you a tattoo in jail. They figure out how to make, like, pizzas out of whatever they got. They figure out how to, like, make a shiv and stop somebody. You know what so, I mean? Like, Toilet wine. Right toilet there. wine. And like, Slit. like what Delicious. blows my mind is there's a Twitter page. There is there there was of this guy in jail and he makes TikToks. Mm. Not Twitter, TikToks. And he charges his phone and he has a whole fucking TikTok account inside of jail. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> How does this guy? He's got a bunch of followers too. Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> 1.9 mil. Yeah. yeah. He has like 1.9 mil yeah. followers. And, he ju- and they just like show the daily life of like prisoners. And yeah. I'm like, how the fuck did you get a phone in there? Is that the, <laughs> is that the Galaxy S21? Dude, I don't even have an iPhone 12. <laughs> <laughs> is that the iPhone 12 Pro Max? <laughs> How? And he has they, AirPods too. He has AirPods. He has six too. cameras. And they figure out how to like charge it and like they they do, yo, how do they, they get Wi-Fi? Yo, I don't jail. know. I don't know how they get Wi-Fi. <laughs> they, they get stole these the Wi-Fi in here. They, from where? They, they stole the Wi-Fi from the neighboring hospitals. It's so that like they're so they're smart. They they're make really, their own really Wi-Fi smart. signal, bro. They make their own Wi-Fi yeah, out of signal. toilet. They just wine. build it <laughs> out of toilet. They had they had what is it Wi-Fi six before we had it, bro. They were fucking with Wi-Fi 6. They already had liquid cooling. Bro, the dude in that video has an iPhone 12. I'm like, bro, I don't even have a fucking iPhone 12. This dude's in prison has a fucking iPhone 12. What the fuck? He has a whole PC build. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he's like streaming from jail. Like, Toilet. You got Grubhub cooling. like the other day. I'm like, what the fuck is going Toilet, on? Toilet liquid cooling, baby. So these, these if, if given the opportunity, there's some pretty smart people that are stuck behind bars. I mean, yeah. yeah, people will be they smart be when they need to be. influencers, bro. It's like a fight Listen, or flight type situation. It's all about the resourcefulness. Yeah. Anyway, so like that is why we've decided that we will now take on prisoners who want to come work for the Atwood Bar podcast. At Sal's house. At it, it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't pay much. It doesn't it pay pays anything. Nothing. It pays um, nothing. But it's just, it's, we're, we're hitting the airwaves. We ben, need people here. Ben we, needs an assistant, maybe? Yeah. Let, let us know. I, I definitely need help in A&V. But if someone wants to intern, <laughs> I'll find something for you to do. <laughs> all right. So say we, say we all own our own businesses, right? You, are you employing ex-convicts? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a tax credit. <laughs> True. God, did, did, I that's, swear, that's an level, office episode. That is true. The, le- the level of M- Michael Christ. employs <laughs> ten <laughs> convicts by in accident, the office by accident, though. For the, for, yeah. for the tax credit. No, no, they bring him over from Connecticut, from Stanford. Yeah, and they get a tax credit. Yeah, prison and, Mike. Yeah, prison. And then they're like, "Wait, who's a convict?" <laughs> <laughs> when the white puts money in the back of the pocket. <laughs> what's, mean, the, what's the dude's name? I believe it it's was the like black a, guy. I yeah, it was a black guy, but it, right when right when it was they named him, Kevin, Kevin was like, "That's racist." <laughs> <laughs> it's because I he thinks fucking, yeah. I fucking died, yo. Oh. I, I would, I would, I mean, I would employ an ex cop. Yeah, why not? I would just, I would, I mean, if they had, like, I stay away from rape. If they that's had, that's the a, only one. That's the okay, oh, rape. Okay, rape. Okay, okay. I, I'd you, stay away you from know rape. the standards. Listen, if you're a rape, murderer, standards. Or a rapist, like rape or child molest, molestation. I mean, obviously. Also, right. if they don't kill me. Well, wow. That's, uh, okay, that's well, that's a pretty low bar. That's <laughs> optional, I mean, you know. <laughs> that's part of the interview. Hey, man, are you going to kill me? <laughs> At Just any point Chris, during our conversation, did you us. think, wow, I should stab him? <laughs> Chris, if the answer is no, 
You're doing well. If the answer is yes, I have more questions. Every time, we, every time we work with you, we want to kill you. So what's the difference between a convict wants to kill you? you no, know yeah, I feel like he wants to kill me every time. Yeah, and I feel like me. you want to kill me too. So no, I, I, I think I agree with the whole as we're talking about like as long as it's not for something that's like extreme, extreme, like a mass murderer. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Hey, like, like genuinely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like insider trading? Well, then, yeah, insider I, trading. Would hi- I would hire me. someone that did insider trading. Sal would Teach love to be money. taught. Yeah. Yeah. Violent yeah. offense. Yeah. Like, Sal would be love to be taught about Again, insider Again, internship trading. being offered. No credit. <laughs> no pay. Strong, rec- strong recommendation. Yeah. You may Teach lose me. your mind. <laughs> Teach me some insider trading. You get some to work. outside trading, You get to work with Chris. While you're at it. Better than working with you. True. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. I'd hire one. I would. Barring any kind of like serious conviction and assuming they're not still on like heavy drugs. A lot of people don't even get convicted of of a of a crime and still can't find a job. Mm? Oh yeah, and, like, a lot of people that aren't criminals that don't have any record have a hard time getting a job. Yeah. So yeah. imagine you like I don't know, if you're trying to work at a restaurant, right? Because what what kind of jobs are available to you, right? You're not gonna get a job at any like sanitary repu- reputable company. Sanitary jobs. Sanitary job, right? But like what else is a common employment? Like retail? Like I don't know if I'd want like uh, like I don't know, this this dude was like a heavy drug addict. I'm like, I want him working at the cash register handling money. Mm. Right? That stigma is there. Even mm-hmm. if the key, maybe he's clean now, right? But like you're gonna be like, I don't know, like this dude probably stole money from family and friends to buy drugs and like who what's gonna stop him from it's like Wal- an insurance going policy to my Walmart at that right? point. Walmart register, yeah, but like I, I mean, I actually though, like, think Walmart does employ. They're like one of the very few that do employ. Well, they pay shit so. convicts. Well, that's yeah. uh, Bing it. Oh, let's wait. bring it. Does does does? If Walmart... I murdered someone, can I work at Walmart? What? Exactly. Uh, if I rape someone, can no. I still work at Walmart? <laughs> what? What company? need to know. What if company I stole money employ... from my previous employer? Can no. I get a new employer? What companies employ uh, convicts? I I don't know. Like if they can discriminate for it, but like that's one of those things. Why is like, porn stars on there? Still might. Bro, who's that Lisa Employ, Ann? veterinarians, <laughs> architects. What company is that? <laughs> oh, fuck. My God, type any slower, man. Convicts. I'm there we go. Over. Oh, McDonald's? Oh, get McDonald's. The Starbucks? Oh, CVS? The military? Wow. Wait, the CVS military, health. The military wow. is the obvious one. CVS well, health? Well, the military. Um, the military. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. The military, Obviously, of the military would be the first one. Yeah. 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 No, McDonald's. I don't think the military is McDonald's. a bad McDonald's. path wow. to go. How about Are they in the rape list or... Sal. Okay, so we got CVS. CVS too, man. That's crazy. I hope they don't work in the pharmacy. Starbucks? Starbucks? I, never, I would never think Yo, Starbucks. you could be a barista as a convict? Uh, really? Wait, my whole life I has read changed. It. I want to read it. Go back up. Yeah. One of the most... Can you, oh, my God. Right, One of the most valuable companies in the world, the Seattle-based coffee chain, currently employs over 250,000 people worldwide. Wow. Holy wow. motherfucking Fair shit. chance pledge. But the, yeah, yeah, but that's like uh, equal Washer opportunity employers. Cleaner. Everybody's a fucking equal opportunity employer. Okay, yeah. Whatever. I wasn't but even... But they, they the review heck? it on a case-by-case. Case. Uni- you know, liver? They do everything. Uniliver? <clears throat> yeah, I think they do like lotions and all that other fucking right. bullshit. Is Tesla anywhere there? But they review it on a case-by-case basis. Oh Which is God. basically Damn. like if your manager like doesn't like you, like Yo, he's because he could just deny all for, convicts. First of all, I I get we're we're talking about this, but did you hear uh, Elon Musk came out and said that you do not need an empl- a um, college degree, a college degree to work for him anymore. But he only employs with a lot. But of he college. only employs people as long as degrees. as long as you could prove that you know what the fuck you're talking about and you're good at whatever the job that you're... I don't think like a 30-year-old homeless man <laughs> is going to walk gonna up die. and be like, hi. I've yeah, been homeless the last 10 years. I am a raging drug addict, but believe me, I know everything you need to know about EVs. But imagine, imagine... EVs. How, EVs. Yo, EVs, imagine... Baby. How crazy would that be? If a homeless man is just like... Well, if he knows, he knows. You know, you know what I mean? mean? There's some smart people out there Dude, This that is have so no rare education. that they made a movie about it. It's called Rain Man. Yeah, Rain Man. I've never seen it before. I've never good. seen it before either. It it's right. not Rain Man. It's not. No, it's not. Right. I'm sure there's some movie about it. Yeah. So keep, going, keep going. Keep going. Gap. American, American Yeah, Airlines. what the fuck? Wow. American Airlines. Imagine that. Selling Your flight attendant just shivs the fuck out of you on the plane because you asked for a little more wine. <laughs> if anything, they're the one committing the Facebook? terrorist attack. Facebook? Really? Hacker away? Fucking oh, hackers. See. One hacker away. <laughs> <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense. Go down. <laughs> keep going. Uh, man. Still. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Cock. In- it's cock, cock industries. industries. It's, co- oh. it's, co- it's, it's coke. coke. It's coke. It's cock. <laughs> what did they do? Cock. Walmart. Walmart, Walmart is, is way down. Finally. Down. Finally. Yeah. Walmart. Okay, fuck you guys. Okay. They have one point five. They have one and a half million. Google. 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 I can make it. <laughs> Bing has to be on that list now. Tyson. Tyson? Fuck Tyson. That's who makes my chicken nuggets. Shit. Damn. 
Yeah, murderers. Chris, yeah. I just noticed something. It says that we've been recording for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll explain it after. <laughs> okay, as cool. long as all we right. got the beginning part. As long as you, as long as you got something, you know, it says three minutes. Does that say all of it? No, it, it's three hours and that. twenty-seven <laughs> minutes, bro. <laughs> just the minutes are moving really quickly. Come on, um, bro. Jesus. And all, uh, we're we're about time ready to wrap up now here, folks. So I think we're just over our time limit. Sorry, voting. But uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good way to end off the show. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we go around the table and see how people feel about legalizing all drugs? Man, every drug, dude. It doesn't affect me. Salvador Flores, we'll start with you. No, nah, good. I'm good. You don't want to legalize no, all drugs? Of course, bro. Come on, man. I'm on that Islam side every day all Go day. for it. It doesn't affect me. As long as it doesn't hurt me, I'm all set. Irvin Carrillo? If it betters the American people, yeah. I'm the for it. If there's a better system in place, then I'm for it as well. Chris Giannetti? Hard. Fuck that! Hard that. Oh, fuck that! Send them all the fucking chair! That was the show, people. Give them all a great night. night. <laughs> Thank you for joining the Adwood Bar Podcast. See no, seriously. What, what do you say? What do you say? Sure. Okay. Fuck okay. Right. That. Ladies, ladies, oh, ladies and gentlemen, he said sure. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Atwood Bar Podcast. It's been lovely having you, and we'll see you next week. Now explain these four minutes. Peace.